Top 10 biggest lies Meghan Markle told Prince Harry. Number 10, not caring to learn about the royal life. Within an interview with Oprah, Meghan claims she knew nothing about the life she was set to live with the love of her life, Prince Harry. The idea of being part of a royal family was not something she ever dreamt about or fantasized. In fact, she claims she knew very little about it. But let's be real here, how many of us actually know what it's like to be a royal? Unless you're secretly related to the queen and didn't know it, in which case, Please invite me to your next family gathering. Chances are you have no idea what goes on behind closed palace doors. But seriously, Meghan's confession about not knowing much about the royal life is refreshing. It's not every day we see a person join one of the most elite families in the world and openly admit to being clueless about it. And let's not forget, Meghan was an American actress before becoming a duchess. I highly doubt her acting career prepared her for walking into Buckingham Palace or attending fancy state dinners with foreign dignitaries. I mean, can you imagine taking acting classes and suddenly being thrown into a real life fairy tale? It's like going from kindergarten to Harvard without any prior warning. But hey, at least Megan had some experience wearing fancy gowns and walking red carpets. That's more than what most of us have under our belts. And let's not forget, she also had to learn royal etiquette. Number nine, speaking of royal etiquette, Megan's mockery. Now, as many know, there is a scene in the series that shows Meghan doing an overly dramatic take of the royal curtsy she was to do when she met the queen. Ah, the royal traditions. Those weird and wonderful customs that have been passed down from generation to generation within the British monarchy. Some might find it endearing, others might find it absurd, but Meghan Markle, she found it hilarious. In a scene from the series The Crown, we see Meghan trying to perfect her curtsy in preparation for meeting Queen Elizabeth. However, her attempt was more of a parody than an actual curtsy. And honestly, I can't blame her for finding it ridiculous. The idea of having to bend one's knee and dip their head in front of another person just because they were born into a certain family is a Bit absurd, but hey, we all have our traditions and customs that might seem odd to outsiders. For the British monarchy, it's the curtsy and many other protocols that must be followed strictly. And let's not forget, Meghan is a Hollywood actress who is used to walk in red carpets and posing for cameras. The idea of having a curtsy in front of someone just because they have a fancy title probably seemed quite comical to her. Number eight, the Oprah interview. After the infamous interview dropped back in 2021, the couple had been accused of prolific lying. With lies being told about racism amongst other things, people can't help but wonder what is the truth and what is being exaggerated. In case you missed the interview, let me catch you up. Meghan and Harry sat down with Oprah to discuss their decision to step back as senior members of the royal family. From mental health struggles to lack of support from the institution, the couple revealed some shocking revelations. However, since then there have been conflicting reports about what actually went down in the interview. But let's be honest, who doesn't exaggerate a little? Whether it's about how many calories we ate for lunch or how much we spent on those shoes, humans have a tendency to add a bit of spice to their stories. And let's not even get started on our social social media feeds where everything is filtered and curated to make our lives appear more glamorous than they actually are. So can we really blame Meghan and Harry for exaggerating the truth? After all, it's not like they were under oath during the interview. And let's be real, is anyone surprised that there may have been some embellishment in their story? They're celebrities after all and drama sells. Number seven, breaking protocols. Here's an extensive list of times where Meghan simply has broken royal protocols for whatever reason. Wearing black nail polish. According to traditional royal protocol, only nude or light colored nail polish is allowed. However, Meghan has been spotted numerous times sporting black nail polish, breaking this rule and adding a touch of edginess to her look. Hugging people. Royals are known for their formal etiquette and rarely engage in public displays of affection, but Meghan, being the warm and affectionate person that she is, has been caught hugging members of the public on multiple occasions, much to the surprise and delight of those around her. Crossing her legs, the Duchess slant is a pose used by royal women when sitting in public. It involves crossing the ankles and keeping the knees together, but Meghan has been seen crossing her legs at various events, showing that she's not afraid to break away from traditional protocols. Signing autographs. It is a strict rule for royals to never give out their autographs in order to prevent forgery. However, during an official visit to Ireland, Meghan broke this protocol and signed a young fan's notebook with the words, love Meghan, much to the excitement of the young girl. 
Number six, brainwashed prince. Harry has been called an unintelligent man who has been brainwashed by his wife into a rift with the royal family. Royal expert Tom Bauer made sensational comments against the Duke and Duchess of Sussex ahead of the release of Harry's bombshell memoir and the couple's Netflix docuseries. It seems like our beloved Harry has been accused of being brainwashed. Now, I don't know about you, but that image of someone scrubbing away at his precious royal brain with a sponge is quite comical. But let's take a step back and look at this accusation seriously for a moment. Is it really possible for someone to be brainwashed into a rift with their own family? Or is this just another attempt to discredit Harry and his wife Meghan? Let's not forget that the royal family has a long history of controlling their image and silencing any dissent. So it wouldn't be surprising if they were trying to paint Harry as a poor victim manipulated by a cunning American actress. Cue dramatic music, please. But let's be real, Harry is a grown man with his own thoughts and opinions, and if he has chosen to distance himself from the royal family, it's more likely because he wants to break free from their restrictive traditions and expectations. Number five, playing victim. Harry's newly formed and deeply damaging anti-royal beliefs are being peddled by Meghan Markle, according to some people, including royal author Tom Bauer, who said that while speaking to American journalist Meghan Kelly. He started by branding the American very clever and added, don't think for a moment that she's not convincing quite a lot of people that somehow she was thrown through the wolves. Of course, that's completely untrue. Well, well, well. Looks like the drama never ends for the royals. We thought we were done with the whole Megxit saga, but apparently not. According to royal author Tom Bauer, Megan is trying to play the victim and convincing people that she was thrown to the wolves. Sure, Megan may be very clever, as Bauer put it, but let's not forget that she was a Hollywood actress before joining the royal family. And as we all know, actors are pretty good at playing different roles and convincing people of their characters. So is this latest act just another role for Megan to play? It's no secret that there has been tension between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family, but to paint herself as a victim in this situation seems a bit far-fetched. As Bauer mentioned, Meghan might not have been thrown to the wolves, but rather chose to leave behind her royal duties and responsibilities. But let's give credit where it's due. Meghan has certainly caused quite a stir with her and Harry's decision to step back as senior royals, and while some may see it as a bold move, others may view it as a calculated plan to gain more control and freedom in their lives. Number four, issues with the fam. As we've seen the Duchess of Sussex become one of the most watched women in the world, we've also seen everything Meg has done and all the fair and unfair criticism she has been receiving. From her fashion choices to her activism, she has become a controversial figure in the public eye. But let's not forget that behind all the drama and tabloids, there is a real woman with a real family. And just like any other person, she too has issues with her fam. For starters, we have to acknowledge that being part of the royal family is not easy. Being a modern, independent woman in the royal family, even harder. Meg has had to navigate through the traditional and strict rules of the monarchy while also staying true to herself and her beliefs. And we all know how difficult it can be to please our family members, so imagine trying to please an entire nation. But beyond her struggles within the royal family, Meghan has also had to deal with her own family issues, from estranged relationships with her father and half-siblings, to being constantly hounded by the media, it's clear Meg's family is not your average picture-perfect bunch. And while some may criticize her for not having a close-knit family, let's not forget that we all have our own challenges and struggles when it comes to family dynamics. It's not an easy feat to maintain strong relationships with all our relatives, especially when personal and public pressures come into play. Number three, Fab Four breakup. The chaotic timeline of Harry and Meghan's relationship caused a lot more kinds of news stories. While sources told us that things went well when Harry introduced Meghan to William and Kate in January 2017, things took a turn when the eldest brother felt they were moving too fast. Harry was pissed off when William suggested he was blindsided by lust. William reportedly told his brother to take as much time as you need to get to know this girl, which upset Harry. But Harry didn't let that stop him from pursuing his love for Meghan. In November 2017, they announced their engagement and the world went wild. From romantic photo ops to extravagant weddings, it seemed like a fairy tale come to life, but little did we know, cracks were already starting to form. The two faced backlash for breaking royal protocol when Meghan's family was not invited to the wedding was not invited to the wedding and when Meghan wore a dress that showed her shoulders at a royal event. But these were just small bumps in the road compared to what was to come. On to number two, making headlines. There were reports at the time that palace staff didn't trust Meghan. While one staffer reportedly said she comes with a lot of baggage, another employee was allegedly referring to her as Harry's showgirl. 
Yikes! Doesn't seem like many took a liking to Meg when she arrived. And finally, number one, speaking of, mistreating staff. Leading up to the Oprah interview, the Times reported accusations that Meghan mistreated her palace aides and staff prior to the 2020 exit. While Meghan denied the allegations, noting in a statement to us in March 2021, in March 2021 that she was saddened by the latest attack on her character. The palace revealed that they were investigating the claims. But that is all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about Megan, and I'll catch you next time on The Rich Life.